Hey guys, welcome in our well, actually garden in Emmeloord. Lightroom was just updated with a huge update. They now added generative fill to the iPad. And for us as fashion and model photographers, this is an awesome upgrade. So I couldn't wait to show you guys how you can now use generative fill in Lightroom for the iPad. And trust me, you are gonna love this. Okay, I opened up an image from Linda from a fun shoot with a Barbie doll. Let's see first how I retouch the skin with the selective adjustments. After that, we're gonna go into the generative fill for the hair. But first, let's just do the skin in case you never saw that before. Now, the iPad Pro is great in combination with the Apple Pencil to do this kind of stuff. So let's go for selective adjustments. Let's go for the plus. Let's pick a brush. Now, it's important, of course, that you make sure that the opacity of the brush is at 100% for drawing in your mask. And the softness, my personal opinion, is to make it as soft as possible. Now, I'm not going to do it very nicely. I'm going to do it pretty rough for the video. And you guys, of course, can do it much better if you take more time. But for the video, we don't want to make them too long. So I'm just going to do a very quick and rough selection. There we go. Okay. Now go into effects and just lower your texture all the way to zero and your clarity all the way to zero. Now this looks like a Barbie doll and it might fit this image, but it's not what we want. So what I normally do is I will start adding texture until I like the skin. And this is actually at this point, I really like this. And then I use my clarity to bring back a little bit of contrast. There we go. Now we don't want a Barbie doll, but we do want slightly softer skin. And look at the difference before and after. So I think the clarity can go a little bit lower in the texture too. So before, after, that's much better. And press done. Okay. Now, of course, we have this, well, this area in the hair that I don't really like. So let's see what generative fill can do with this. So we're going to go for the eraser tool. And we still have those three options, clone, heal, and remove. Now with remove, you now have to enable the generative AI. And it's more limited, of course, than in Photoshop, but hey, it does a great job. So let's open this up a little bit and let's just draw it over the hair. So I want to fill this up. I want to make sure that we select more than enough material of the hairs, nothing else. And then just let a Lightroom do its job. There we go. Now, at Photoshop, you can, of course, change different options. So normally you get three options and you can stack them, of course, together. In Lightroom, you only see one, and that's because it's a little bit hidden. You go to Revine, and now you can choose between the different options. And I actually like this one best. Remember, we zoomed in way too much, so it looks a little bit low res, but in the end, you won't see that anymore. Okay, so let's press Done. Now, let's go to 100%, and as you can see here, before and after, that really is a huge improvement. But let's say that you also want to do some stuff in the skin. Now, when we do that with the healing brush, you will notice that when we use the healing brush, it works like a charm. But sometimes you also want something that is a little bit better than the healing brush, right? So let's go back. There we go. And let's go for our remove with our generative fill. And actually, you're going to do the same thing, but this is capable of doing a little bit better work than the healing brush. Now, in skin, you won't really see a big difference because the healing brush works like a charm. But especially on backgrounds or other stuff, this really works well. And as you can see here, you can do a proper retouching now for skin in a Lightroom. Who thought of that a few years ago? And again, when you want to change something, you just go for Revine and you choose different options. There we go. And if you don't like it at all, restore selection. As you can see here, the healing, I still see. You see that? The remove, we also see. So we can always go back to those areas, but they're not in the frame anymore, as obnoxious as with the previous Lightroom versions, which really annoyed me because every time you wanted to do something, there was always this area where you already cloned or did stuff. And well, it became really messy at one point. And now you can just retouch to your heart's content and you don't have to take anything into account anymore. So for us as fashion photographers and portrait photographers, I think this is one of the biggest upgrades in Lightroom from the previous years. And it just looks great.
let's be honest and we just did it on the ipad wow hey guys i hope you enjoyed this small and quick video on lightroom on the ipad if you have any questions leave them in the comments below smash that like button but most of all tell other people about the channel so we can grow and if you have any questions well maybe you see them answered in the next episode of digital classroom bye guys